Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a another subscriber requested video. So I was recently asked to do a video about my favorite um, cold weather celebrity fragrances and I've got a whole bunch here so I'm just gonna jump right in. So I'm gonna start with Britney Spears fragrances because I love Britney Spears. They're some of my favorite celebrity fragrances um, and a lot of mine a lot of mine are more cold weather type fragrances, even though I'll wear her fragrances really any time of year, it doesn't matter. Um, the first one is Prerogative, and this one, I think this one was marketed as unisex, um, which to me it, yeah, to me this one definitely leans more feminine. Um, yeah, definitely. This one reminds me a little bit of a uh, private show. It's kind of got that same kind of creamy, milky vibe. This has coffee in it too. So it definitely, and I think private show has coffee in it as well, if I remember correctly. So it's definitely, um, it's still pretty sweet. It's not quite as sweet as Private Show. It's not quite as well-rounded as Private Show. Um, it's not quite as creamy, but it is still all of those things. This has a goji berry note in it though that gives it this kind of, it gives it this kind of crisp tartness that is in the background that keeps it from getting like overly sweet or overly um, like creamy. It's really beautiful. I love this. Unfortunately, it doesn't last very long on me. Um, so yeah, I usually end up wearing this one to bed a lot, but which actually I'll probably start getting into wearing this one more um, just whenever since I don't need super long lasting fragrances anymore. But yeah, I do love this one. So that's the first one. That is Britney Spears prerogative. And then let's talk about... Um, Let's just go ahead and talk about Private Show. This is such a beautiful fragrance. Um, this one definitely has more coffee in it than Prerogative. Actually, I want to say Prerogative is more sweet than this. I was thinking that this one was more sweet. It's not, Prerogative is definitely sweeter. This one is much creamier though, and the coffee note is much more, um, is much more distinct in this one. But yeah, really, really beautiful. Creamy, sweet, coffee, super cozy. Um, I love this one. I wear this one, I'll wear it in the middle of the summertime. I don't care, I'll wear it anytime, but it works really, really well in the cold weather and it lasts a lot longer in the cold weather. Um, so I do enjoy wearing it more in the cold weather. Um, this one, again, not as great. It doesn't get, I think I can get maybe three, three hours out of it or so. Um, maybe four, like in the cold weather. But yeah, not the best performer in the world. Um, not like the worst. I definitely have fragrances that perform worse. But you're definitely not going to get more than maybe four hours, I would say, out of this one. So... Anyways, that is Britney Spears' private show. And then the last Britney Spears fragrance that I really, really love for this time of year is Britney Spears Fantasy. This is Fantasy Stage Edition, which is the original formulation of Fantasy. And um, yeah, this one, it still has the kiwi in it, but it's not... Oh, yeah, it still has that beautiful kiwi note in the top. But this one is much richer. It's got that like vanilla frosting, vanilla cupcake note in it. It's much more gourmand. The new formulation is very, very kiwi heavy. I would say the newer formulation is more of a fruity fragrance. And this one is fruity, but this one leans much more gourmand. It's, yeah, it's much more vanilla heavy. It's much more cakey smelling. It's gorgeous. It's really, really sweet, which I really, really love. But yeah, perfect for this time of year. Sweet, cakey, cozy, decadent smelling. I just love it. 
So, and this is another one I'll wear this any time of year because you can get away with it any time of year, but I love it more in the winter or in the colder months. Um, it does seem to last longer in the colder months as well. So anyways, that is Britney Spears. Oh, and let me see. I haven't worn this one. I haven't given this one a really good wear test in a while. I will have to, but I think I remember this one lasting about five or six hours, maybe even a little bit longer in the winter time. Um, this one is definitely a better performer than the current formulation of Fantasy. So yeah, and I remember I had a bottle of the original formulation of Fantasy back in like the mid 2000s when it first came out. And that thing was an absolute beast back then. It's definitely not, um, it definitely doesn't perform on that level anymore, but it's also not the worst at all. So anyways, that is Britney Spears Fantasy Stage Edition. Okay, let's talk about a Nicki Minaj fragrance. Um, this, I think this is maybe my favorite Nicki Minaj fragrance. Well, I only have two. I need to pick up all of the other ones. I've heard that they're all good. This is Nicki Minaj Onika and I love this fragrance. This is, it's fruity because it has a really beautiful pear note in it. It also has a star fruit note in it, but it's got a creaminess or kind of a creaminess from a sugar cane note. And it almost ends up smelling a little bit vanillic, even though there is no vanilla in this. It smells like it could have vanilla in the base for sure. It's got like this really beautiful creaminess in the base and I can only imagine it's from that sugarcane note, but it's really beautiful. This one lasts really, really good on me too. This one I can definitely get a good six to eight hours out of, especially in the cooler weather um, and especially if I spray it on clothing. If I spray it just on skin or if I use it in hot weather, I'll maybe only get about four hours out of it or so, but in the cooler weather, it definitely lasts a lot longer and yeah i love it i like to wear this one it's again any time of year you could wear this but i definitely like to wear it more in the cooler weather than i do in the warm weather so yeah i love this one so that is Nicki minaj onika i also i know a lot of people hate these bottles but i something about them i just love i think they're great i want every single one of them in my collection Okay, next we have a Katy Perry perfume. This is, um, I love both of these perfumes that come in the cat bottles. Um, this one is creamier though. This is Meow. This one is creamier and this one is more suited to, um, to cold weather in my opinion, though both of them could easily work in cold weather. Uh, but yes, this has... This has a beautiful creaminess to it. This one also has pear in the top, so you get this really beautiful fruitiness. Ugh, yes. But it's almost a clean fruitiness in the top. I guess it's like the, the pear mixed with the different florals make it smell really clean. But it does have vanilla in the base, so it dries down to, to be really creamy and really cozy and it's really, really gorgeous. I love this one. Of the two, this is my favorite one. Um, now, the performance on this one is not very good. I can get three to four hours out of it, maybe. Um, yeah, which is fine. Even on clothing, I can only get maybe three to four hours out of this, but it smells really, really beautiful. I really love this one. Um, again, this could be really worn any time of year, but I find that it performs better in the winter or in the colder months. And I just love it in the colder months because it's got that beautiful, cozy um, vanilla base note. So I just love it. And I honestly, I only bought these for the bottles. Um, I couldn't have cared less about what it smelled like inside. I just wanted the bottles. But um, thankfully, I love how it smells inside too. So anyways, that is Katy Perry Meow. Okay, next this is going to be no surprise to anybody on this channel because I talk about this fragrance all the time. I especially talk about it in the cooler months and this is one of my most complimented celebrity fragrances. I love this fragrance. This is Love from Sofia Vergara. Um, this is beautiful. This is another one that has a coffee note in it. It's super sweet. It's got coffee and praline. Uh, yes, it's got some flowers in the middle. Um, 
I'm quite sure some kind of a fruit in the top, but it's got this beautiful coffee and praline note in the base. It's sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. It's a little bit, um, it's definitely more floral than any of the others on this list, but it's like very light floral. It's not, it's not like overly floral, but it's so good. It's sweet. It's got that beautiful coffee note and yummy praline. Super warm, super cozy. Again, this is one of my most complimented um, celebrity fragrances, hands down. I always get compliments on this when I wear it. And this one lasts. This is a beast on me. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that this doesn't last for them. Thankfully, for some reason, it lasts ages on me. This is one of the celebrity fragrances in my collection that I was able to wear to work, and it would get me through an entire 10-hour workday. Um, like, that's how well this thing lasted on me. So, yeah, I'm lucky. I am one of the lucky ones like that. So anyways, that is love from Sofia Vergara. Okay, next, this next one is not going to be any surprise to anybody either. Um, this is Madonna Naked Truth or Dare, and this is like a beautiful, powdery, nutty, amber kind of fragrance. And that's basically what it is. It's like... Um, it's creamy and slightly powdery and nutty. I do think it's got almond in it. If not almond, maybe heliotrope. It's got something, one of those two in it. I want to say it's almond though. But yeah, I definitely get this really beautiful kind of powdery nuttiness from this one. It's sweet. Um, this one has vanilla orchid in it, which is really beautiful. It's also got oud in it and... I definitely get like a wittiness, but I don't get oud necessarily. Usually oud is pretty overpowering or very distinct. And I'm just not really getting any oud in this. I never have, not even on skin. Um, it's got benzoin in it. And like I said, I'm pretty sure heliotrope. It's just beautiful though. It's warm. It's cozy. This is another one I get lots of compliments on this when I wear it. Um, I could see, I could see somebody not liking this one though. I would definitely say this is not a safe blind buy. Um, this is another one that is an absolute beast on me. This one, I can, I used to be able to wear this to work as well and it would get me through an entire 10 hour work day. Um, so yeah, and I can wear this one any time of year, but it definitely is more suited for cold weather and it definitely lasts longer, performs better in cold weather. So Anyways, that is another one I absolutely adore in the wintertime. This is, uh, that is Madonna Truth or Dare Naked. Okay, this next one is definitely for me a cold weather fragrance. Um, this is M by Mariah Carey. I just talked about this one not too long ago. Um, I think this, I think I've actually talked about it a couple times recently, but this is an odd fragrance. This is one that people either really, really love it or they really, really hate it. It's really a very odd fragrance. It's got... Um, C notes in it, but it also has, I think, marshmallow, and it ends up smelling kind of, I don't know, it's got almost like a little bit of a smokiness to it, and I don't know, it's just, it's one of those fragrances that it's kind of strange, and it's kind of hard to even describe. Um, it's not a safe blind buy for sure. You will either really love this or really hate it. I just happen to be the one of the ones that really like it. Um, this does not last long on me at all. I usually wear this one to bed just because it. I don't get very much uh, longevity out of it. But I do love it. It's a beautiful, cool weather celebrity fragrance. I think if I... Maybe over sprayed and sprayed on clothing as well. I could probably get a good four or five hours out of it. But yeah, I just have this little half ounce bottle too, so I try not to use up too much um, just because I hate the, the thought of having to repurchase and what if I get something that's not, I don't know, that's not the same. I just have this paranoia of having to rebuy perfumes and them not being the same. But it's a good, it's a pretty well founded paranoia just because. They reformulate so often and like butcher fragrances. But anyways, that is M from Mariah Carey. 
Okay, this next one, I wear this any time of year. I wear this a lot in the heat, but I really love this in the cool weather because it's so sweet and yummy. Um, this is a Sarah Jessica Parker NYC, and this is a beautiful strawberry perfume. This is probably, this is my most strawberry forward fragrance in my collection. Um, it's got this beautiful, sweet, wild strawberry note and I adore it. It is one of my favorite Sarah Jessica Parker fragrances. I know it's like, um, I don't know. It's so youthful and juicy and beautiful. This is another one that I need to pull out and give some love to. Um, this will probably come up in my round two of fragrances I need to give some love to because I have not worn this one in a hot minute, like in a good long while. And I, don't, and I think the reason why is because this is another one that I don't want to run out of and I've got a good dent in it. I've got plenty. Um, this is only a one ounce bottle though. Um, so it's like, I, I don't know, I just get paranoid about running out of it and then not being able to get the same thing. I don't know, but this is intensely fruity with a really beautiful, very um, prominent wild strawberry note in it. And I love this. I love it in any kind of weather, but it is the most beautiful in cold weather. It's so just cozy and warm and sweet in cold weather, and I just love it. This is one of those that is like borderline sickly sweet though, and I could see this giving somebody a headache because it's kind of, it's one of those tart sweet fragrances. I don't know, I just adore it though. It smells like straight up sugar, like pixie sticks. It's in the same, it's like along the same lines as uh, Michel Germain Sugarfall. It's just got that beautiful tart sweetness, though it doesn't smell anything like that. It's just the same type of fragrance where it's got that just almost mouthwatering tart sugariness to it. So anyways, I love this SJP NYC one of my favorite celebrity fragrances for sure. So I love it. Oh, and this is a beast on me. I This is another one that I used to be able to wear to work and it would get me in through an entire 10 hour work day, um, especially if I sprayed it on clothing as well, which I always do spray on clothing. But yeah, um, I would definitely get a whole, easily eight to 10 hours out of this, which I love. So anyways, that is Sarah Jessica Parker NYC. And then last but not least is a Paris Hilton fragrance. This is Paris Hilton Gold Rush. And oh my gosh, I love this fragrance. This is another vanilla peony, not peony, sorry, vanilla uh, praline fragrance. This is another one that is sweet, a little bit decadent smelling, creamy, like well-rounded, super sweet, and just beautiful, yummy. It's borderline gourmand, but I wouldn't say it's a gourmand. It's more, um, it's more of just like a sweet, creamy, cozy fragrance, but kind of borderline gourmand. I love it. It's a good one. This one lasts a long time on me too. I definitely can get a good six hours out of this one, six to eight hours maybe. Um, and I love this one. I think this was sent over to me from Among the Stars here on YouTube. He sent this over along with Platinum Rush. Um, and I love them both. I can't decide which one I like better. I like them both that much, but this one, I think it was still a little bit cold out when he sent this. So I've been able to test this in cooler weather as well as warmer weather, and I prefer it in cooler weather. I think it performs better in colder weather too, but it's just beautiful. And I think his favorite fragrance is the Platinum Rush, which the Platinum Rush is beautiful too. It's much cleaner. Um, it's just a beautiful, like all, all year round, beautiful fragrance. But, and this one to me is suited more towards cold weather, but, or more for cold weather. But yeah, just beautiful. Vanilla, creamy, praline, sweet, cozy. Love this. And I can't wait to pull this out and start wearing it. So anyways, that is Paris Hilton Gold Rush. 
And that is going to be it, guys. Those are all of my favorite celebrity fragrances for cold weather. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.